We experience the world, not as it is, but as we are. As the saying goes, wherever you go, there you are. And it's true. Unless we put a lot of time into practice and reflection and meditation, we really only view the world through our own two eyes. And what we perceive is very subjective. It's based on our personal history. We're very caught up in certain emotions and patterns, and we have triggers. So for one person, somebody cutting them off in traffic is a huge problem. And it's this massive event that's going to affect the rest of their day. And for another person, it really doesn't matter at all. It, it doesn't even register. It's not even noticeable. And this is something that I noticed moving from lower levels of consciousness to higher levels of consciousness. I used to get very triggered and upset if somebody said something bad about me behind my back. Whereas now, even if someone told me, revealed the truth, somebody's been talking smack about you, Raphael, it doesn't really click or register anymore. It's like, okay. <laughs> and like, I don't really get it. Why, why? This doesn't make any sense. Why am I thinking or talking about this? It doesn't even really click or register at all. And it's just a shift in consciousness. And you can have that shift in consciousness anytime. And if you choose to make that shift, your old problems are perceived as nothing, just nothing. It's not even affecting you. It's just there. And it's kind of silly to give attention to it. It just doesn't really make sense. It's kind of humorous. But if you stay in that perspective, all these problems are huge. You know, it's the end of the world when somebody shows up late to an appointment or it's such a big crisis if you didn't get to have the food that you wanted that night for dinner or if the restaurant was booked fully and you couldn't get a table, right? All these things can really trigger you if you're in that lower space. And the way that you get up there, and climb and get out of that, it's very simple. You take some time every day to really reflect on your own problems, your own life, your own experience, and just compare it against the world, the universe. Really see it as this. You know when you look up at the stars from down here, Earth, you're looking up and you're like, wow, that's a star, that's really far away. You know, you can't see what's going on up there. You don't know if there's somebody up there. You don't know what they're doing if they are there. And it would be very difficult for you to try to guess or understand or even comprehend for you to even try to think about what's happening over there. In the same way, try to reverse it. Try to put yourself up on that star and look back down at your life and your circumstances and what's going on in your particular life situation right now and try to see how silly it feels to try to get bought in and worried and concerned when you're that distance away. Take yourself out of your first person view, subjective experience. Get out of that caught up mode and get some distance. One great trick that I used a lot was to write down my problems as if it was somebody else's, not mine. So I would write out my issues and my worries and my concerns and all the things that pissed me off. And I would get some distance from it because I would write it in third person. You know, this man, Raphael, he's experiencing this, this, and this, and he's very upset because this person said that. And once you have this on paper and you read it, you're like, mm, okay. <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny. It's like, wow, really big deal, you know? It's such a big problem. It's such a big problem. And you almost feel a little silly. And the more you do this, the more you practice this, the more you start to see that, hey, this isn't such a big deal. You kind of disconnect from all these triggering emotions. You start to feel lighter. Your energy shifts. You find it easier to take on more difficult tasks. You can climb greater mountains and deal with much more difficult challenges. And all of a sudden, the quality of your problems improve significantly. Before you used to worry about if you had enough money in the bank account, now you're trying to feed a village or you're donating or you want to you know, give even more. 
you want to impact more people. The quality of your problems shifts when you change the way that you perceive the world. See, when you change you, your experience of everything else changes. It's not about what's out there, even though we get so caught up and we think, oh, once I have this, I'll be happy, or once I have that, then I'll finally be fulfilled. You start to see that the truth lies more in the realm of, hey, it's all neutral. My weird thoughts and history influences how I perceive it. And now I give it certain meaning. And now that creates stress and it causes me to go into this pattern, this loop. And now I go into behavioral patterns that send me into another loop and it's just re-triggering and causing this continuous spiral. And you can end it at any which time you choose. So if you're done, you're done. Try that. I'm done. I've had enough. I don't want to spiral. I don't want to complain about traffic. I don't want to come. What is this? What kind of life is this? Oh, work is so difficult. I'm so tired. What? Human potential, infinite. Do whatever you want. You know, you want to complain about traffic or you want to contribute to some incredible breakthroughs in science and technology? Or do you want to try to solve world hunger maybe? You know, what are you really passionate about? Take your energy out of these desperate, sad loops, self-pity, just, just being mad at the world, and try shifting your energy to the next step. And if right now you're in apathy, you might need to get angry first. You know, there are certain steps through consciousness and you go higher and higher and it gets easier and easier. But just try to take one step up. Just try to just release the old pattern. For a moment, let go. For a moment, take that look from above and say, hey, these problems, you know, maybe write them out, third person, I'm telling you, it, it works. I've done it a lot. I've tried it with other people, with clients, and it's very successful, so try it out. You know, don't just listen to me, try it. Do something practical to shift yourself. I want you to make a difference in your energy, and then you'll feel, oh wow, this feels better. And then you'll get hooked. You'll be like, wow, this feels great. Could I go even higher? Could it be even better? Could I feel even more incredible? The answer is yes. And it just keeps going and going. And that for me is one of the greatest reasons why I just keep going deeper and deeper into self-improvement, why I keep evolving and shifting and then wanting to help more people. And it's just a positive upward spiral like that. So if you just experience a glimpse today, I promise you that already will have you hooked. Try it out. Drop it in the comments below. Tell me what maybe some of your problems were in third person. Maybe use your first name and say, oh, well, you know, for me, it would be Raphael's problems. He was struggling with that somebody was saying something nasty about him and it really upset him because he felt a little bit insecure about his weight at the time, right? So that would be something along the lines for me. What is it for you? Maybe share that, get it out of you, and then you can move up and feel a difference, feel that energy rising. It's incredible. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Make sure that you subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss a single upload. And if you'd like to experience a real breakthrough and some massive progress in your life, sign up for coaching. It's in the bottom left of your screen right now. If you click on that, you will go to my website and you can book a free consultation to get us started.